New videos every day. Hi, this is Dr. Vince Balanzi. Let's talk about things that ruin your sex life. Let's face it, sex is important to most people, except for perhaps those that aren't interested anymore. But it's an important thing in just in social life. <clears throat> it's important to have a good sex life. It's part of your, your social network. It's, it's part of your health. I mean, if you're not healthy, you're not going to have an enjoyable sex life. So let's talk about some things that can get in the way, things that can just ruin your sex life. Another thing we've got to consider is that an excess of certain neurotransmitters, especially, neuro, especially the neurotransmitter serotonin, will definitely drop libido. Now, it's going to raise your mood a bit, but it's going to drop your desire for, for the sexual encounter. So if you happen to run a little bit unbalanced and you have higher serotonin levels or lower epinephrine and norepinephrine levels, if your neurotransmitters are out of balance, it's going to affect things. So that lays right into the antidepressants, especially the SSRI drugs, the serotonin reuptake inhibitors, the Prozac and the other drugs that make you build up higher levels of serotonin. Because of the higher level of serotonin and because of the action of those drugs themselves, there are many mechanisms where you could lose your desire for sex. And let's face it, if you don't really desire sex, if you don't want to have the encounter, you may go ahead with it, but it's not enjoyable, and it's just going to ruin the whole life of your sexual partner and yourself. So you, you need to consider some of these things. Again, look at the medications you're on. Look at what you can do to get yourself healthier so that not only sex, but your whole life has quality to it. We've also got to consider other medications. There is a lot of indication that statin drugs, the cholesterol drugs, cause not only a loss of libido or a loss of, of the sexual desire, but they also cause a lot of dysfunction. Now, you don't want to take cholesterol too low. Most research indicates that as you get below 150 with cholesterol, you start having problems with manufacturing hormones and neurotransmitters. Well, this translates into dementia and things like Alzheimer's. You can get neurologic problems, but you also get hormonal imbalance. And as we've just talked about, hormonal imbalance is going to cause a problem with sex. So you're taking an, a statin drug. You're getting the effects of the muscle aches, the lack of energy, the inability to make coenzyme Q10. But you're also starting to upset your whole hormone balance. Your, your quality of life is going to go down. It may be that you need to look at not using a statin drug, especially if, you, if your cholesterol is below 150. Now, it may have been higher and the, and the statin drug brought you down, but there are other ways to keep the cholesterol in check. And cholesterol is not the only thing to watch. We need to look at the level of inflammation. We need to look at uh, other lipoproteins besides cholesterol or parts of cholesterol. So there's other testing to be done to see if the statin drug is even helping you. But it may be harming you in this way. It may be ruining your sex life. And then we've got to consider other drugs for high blood pressure, drugs that... that that are called beta blockers, directly affect sex. There are other medications for things like uh, other dementias, uh, for anti-inflammatories that will directly affect sex. So learn a little bit more about medications that you're using because they may be the problem. Okay, now we have to consider a couple things that, that often are considered to go along with sex. Number one is alcohol. Now, there are some benefits to alcohol. It's been studied and it can help in some ways. Uh, for sex, all it does is perhaps decrease inhibition, but uh, there are some benefits perhaps for the heart and you can relax the body, you can, you can help with pain. But on the other hand, alcohol directly affects fat metabolism. You can't lose weight as easily. It also directly affects sexual desire. So you drink in order to maybe get in the mood for sex, but it's also going to decrease the enjoyment and the desire for sex. So consider alcohol intake. It may be ruining your sex life as well. The other thing is smoking. I hope that most people out there are not smoking. Unfortunately, there's been a resurgence in smoking. There's something called Berger's disease. It has to do with circulation. Circulation is a primary thing for sexual health. If you can't get blood 
to the right places, then you're not going to enjoy sex. You won't, might not be able to do it. So if you're going to smoke, you decrease circulation, you alter your ability to even have sex. So, you know, lungs, we have to worry about. But the body goes acid. So many things get set off that are negative with smoking. And I, and I can't say enough about not doing it. So consider not smoking because it's going to affect your sex life. Again, we want to look at these things that can be factors in ruining your sex life. Don't always blame yourself. It's Sex is a mental thing as well as a physical thing. But if you don't have the physical together, then I don't care how much mentally you're into it. And really, there's a lot of biology in the way you think as well. A couple other things, a lot of the opioid drugs, uh, Oxycontin is one of the most popular right now, and uh, they directly affect both desire and performance. So if you're on an opioid, opioid type drug for pain control, then you're going to have to reconsider. Um, maybe there's some other forms of pain control that you can get into. In fact, you don't want to be on those things for a long term anyway, but they directly affect your libido, libido and they directly affect your circulation. So. You don't want to be on these drugs for a long time. Sure, they help you handle the pain, and the pain itself could be a stress enough so you're not going to enjoy sex. But again, there are other routes. There's eventually a transition that you want to make away from, from needing the drugs for pain management. And, the, and there are other things that you can do. Uh, just getting your diet together can often make the body less inflammatory, losing some weight. There are a lot of other approaches that we can take that would be more conducive to having a better sex life. So we have to consider how medications affect us negatively. And perhaps one of the first signs will be ruining your sex life. Many medications, as we mentioned, opioid drugs can affect testosterone levels. If your testosterone is lower because uh, of something in your lifestyle or because you're just a few years older, it does tend to decline with age, but it doesn't have to. But if you find that your testosterone levels have declined, if you're male or female, that's real important as far as your sexual desire. It has something to do with sexual function as well. But again, we have to look at everything we can do to maintain balance in the body. And if you're letting any stressor push you out of balance, then it's going to ruin your sex life. So take stock of the medications you're using. Take stock of your nutritional intake. And take stock of how much you exercise. Because again, circulation is key. If you've got a weak heart, if you've got a circulatory system that doesn't deliver, you're not going to enjoy sex at all. This is Dr. Vince Balanzi. Be healthy, be happy, and find a way to enjoy sex. Many women, in fact, probably all women are affected somewhat, but more uh, some women more than others, and their libido can completely disappear because of the birth control pill. Woo! <laughs>